in 1.5 kilometers. Turn right onto golf course line. In 3.3 kilometers, turn left. Turn left, then arrive at your destination. Arrived. What is going on today, guys? Heading to Rondo uh, Provincial Park for the weekend. Just gonna take a little stop here and uh, play some nine holes at a Ridgetown Golf Club. It's about a half hour away. So let's check this out. We're on our way here. I'm sipping back a nice cold OV. I heard they taste crappy, but I like them, so let's give it a go. So yeah, I just finished a king can of OV, and right now I'm gonna chow down on what's called a uh, chickpea spread sandwich. It's kind of like the vegan version of tuna. It's always delicious. Here's how you do it. South Campground, site number 65. Alright. Camping? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. I'll give you a map here. The camp office is open to check you in. Just take a left at the first stop sign. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Okay hey guys, just check this out here. It's called the, uh, well, it's the Auto Puerto bag. It must be from Puerto Rico. Anyways, I'm not gonna go over the details of it. All I can tell you is it's a pretty good bag. It'll store your stuff and you can drive in the rain and it won't get wet. So it, it can carry quite a bit. As you can see, most of our gear is in here. So we made it here at Rondo. Um, 
We'll check the site out. It's not the greatest. It's uh, it's okay. At least it's flat. There's lots of grass on it. And there's nobody beside us right now, so that's pretty good. Not a lot of trees here, so I don't know what's going to happen when it rains. We're not going to have too much coverage. As you can see, there's a nice little electrical... Uh, looks like something from The Walking Dead, in fact. So, we'll see how this goes. Just doing a little... Uh, Caesar salad here, except it's vegan with uh, some chickpeas, roast mm. chickpeas, and this stuff should be really good. Standing here in Lake Erie, it's very cold right now. And if you can see, we've got a gorgeous view. Well, not really a gorgeous view. A little bit too cold for swimming, but uh, it feels pretty good on the legs right now. So, this is quite nice. So we're just walking the beach here. Feels quite nice on the feet. Really windy. Uh, we're expecting some rain tonight. But uh, we hope to end up biking right up to the point sometime tomorrow and uh, seeing what it's all about. So doing the old Ontario Provincial Park wood battle using the uh, the old thermos seat to get this wet wood going. Still trying to get these coals going. Tons of birds here. So we have got some uh, baked potatoes going on here. And uh, let's check it out. My fire is starting to die so I'm going to have to get, get this going pretty soon. You really got to stay on top of these fires with this wood. It just, it's so wet, it just dies all the time. It's uh, it's really annoying. So next time I, you know, maybe I'll go somewhere else and buy my wood. Guys, tonight we're gonna try some uh, plant-based steaks again. So last two times I, uh, I burnt them or I didn't cook them enough. So here they are. We're gonna put them on and uh, give them a go. Let's check it out. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's no sizzle. That's not a good sign. We'll slow cook them. And here we go. Looks like they're done. Oh, look at that. And hopefully the potatoes are done. The smoke is going to my eyes. All right. So here we go. We got plant-based steaks from Yam Chops. Piles of horseradish. Barbecue sauce and potatoes on the side. So we, uh, we survived the night. Um, no rain yet. It's a uh, pretty overcast though. So looks like it's gonna come soon. So we're gonna get some breakfast going here. The new Coleman Classic Stove. So we're gonna give this a shot and see how it works with, uh, with some pancakes. Let's see what we got.
Oh, look at that. Oh, instructions. And that is our Coleman stove. For this morning, we're going to check out this. Some uh, bacon by the very good butchers. Plant-based, obviously. So let's give her a go. Just so you know, these guys won't ship to Ontario anymore, so this could be the last of it for us. And it looks like we're going to have to cut this stuff ourselves. So we're going to slice as thin as we can without breaking this up. Yeah, it seems like it's going to be hard to deal with. It's going to probably start breaking up a little bit. There we go. Throw in our pan, cooking spray. Okay, I think we're hot enough here. So we're just going to try to slide these guys on without breaking it up. Oh, it's not hot enough. They're very fragile, so... You want to keep them together as much as possible. Otherwise, you just have a big lumpy mess. So we're going to try to flip these. It's pretty fragile. Whoa, that's getting dark. See, so yeah, I'm not overly impressed with these. They kind of break up very easy. So it's it's not really like bacon. Yeah, and they're made of beans and other, other spices. But we'll give it a go. It's edible. Dump some maple syrup on it and uh, see how she tastes. So there we have it, plant-based bacon. Some plant-based pancakes. That your lovely with wife syrup. made. Yes, that my lovely, lovely wife made with a crap ton of syrup. Absolute crappiest part of the camping is doing dishes. The worst part is you gotta use cold water too, which doesn't work well. And this biodegradable soap doesn't work well. So the less dishes you can use, the better. So we're just gonna make a little of this energy fizz. All natural. So we're just gonna finish up this energy drink here. Guess do some biking and uh, see what we can find. Basically see if we can make it out to the point. Uh, see if we make it or not. All right, let's get her going. Here at the visitor centers, so let's go check it out. So we did end up making it down to the visitor center. It was uh, quite a trek. I don't think we're gonna go any further. It's still another few kilometers down to the point. So I think we're gonna have to skip seeing that this time.
Yep, I got you. Looks like we're on the cusp of a thunderstorm. Trying to make it back as quick as possible. Maybe I get struck by lightning. Make for a good video. Oh, here she comes. Like I said in the past, it always rains when we're camping. So we're used to it. No shelter. No nothing. Can't go in the bush. And you get a tick. Oh, we're getting close. I see shelter. Looks like we're in the eye of the storm. We'll make a break for it. So we are just heading our way into Ridgetown to uh, head to a value mart. We're gonna look for some asparagus and maybe some zucchinis. So we'll, uh, we'll check this town out and see what it's like. I was gonna say we're in Ridgetown, but we're actually in more F. Beer store. Got okay, we're coming up to downtown or Ridge Town. Oh, we don't get lost. At the next light, turn right. How can we get lost with that kind of information? Like so. Turn left onto Albert Avenue, then turn right into the parking lot. Well, this is food land. Quick stop at the home hardware. So one of the things you can do here is uh, bird watch at Rondo. There's quite a few species of birds and uh, what we've done, we've set up some oranges on some tree branches to see if we can catch a few while recording. Check it out. So once in a while, they just come away and uh, start picking at these oranges and uh, they do it all day long, so you can just sit here and uh, watch these guys. It's very interesting. Always be careful of ticks. There's lots of ticks around here, so you want to be extra careful when you're uh, walking through the forest. And do check yourself thoroughly. You do not want Lyme disease. So as you can see, I got this little area set up in here. It's uh, quite nice. Put a little tarp over my tent. Kind of uh, attach it to the roof rack. Or not the roof rack, I mean the bike rack. So I just have a little sitting area here while it rains. So we are taking a chance right now, possible electrocution, but 
just need to go to the car for something. See, so yeah, we're hoping this uh, dies down soon. Maybe we can cut some dinner. Back in the safety of my cavern. Rondo, reminiscing. Um, I don't think I'll be reminiscing about this place too much. So hopefully this is a good beer. And that's probably the last we're gonna see of this park. So I just had a raccoon take my bag of sweet chili heat while I was sitting on the lawn chair. You can hear him here. While this raccoon's eating my bag of sweet chili heat, I can hear him and I, I'm lost for words. <laughs> 